Hi kids, welcome to today's Sunday service. I hope you've been well. You've been wearing your masks properly and sanitizing and keeping safe. So thank you very much for joining us for today's service. Please have your notebooks and Bibles ready and be ready to listen for, to the word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this wonderful morning. We give you thanks and glory for the gift of life and good health. As today, Lord, we come to listen to the word. May you, li- may, may you, may you help us learn and understand and have a, uh, be with us through, uh, the, through this, the lesson. In Jesus' name we pray this, just say I'm believing. Amen. So we'll go straight to the word of God by, uh, by, our, uh, by our pastor, Pastor Henry. Karibu, Pastor Henry. Good morning, boys and girls. And I believe you've enjoyed yourself since we began the service. And at this particular time, we just want to listen to the word of God. Before we listen to the word of God, I would like us to have a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. We pray that even as we listen to your word, that you'll speak to each and every one of us, individually and collectively, for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Who can remind me what we talked about uh, last week? Last week we talked about Gideon and uh, the angel of the Lord. And basically we're talking about dealing with fear. And we mentioned several types of fears that people have. Some say they fear darkness. Others say they fear uh, animals. Some fear lions. Some fear thieves. And I don't know what you fear. And today as we continue the series uh, in the book of Judges, today we are looking at Judges chapter 7, verse 1 to verse 18. And our topic is depending on God. Many of us we depend on so many things. There are some of us who depend on our family members. There are some who will depend on our parents. There are some who will depend on our, uh, on, on our academic. But I want us to learn to depend on God. Because uh, with God, all things are possible. And so today, we are looking at uh, Gideon as he prepares to go to war. Remember, God had called him to go and save the children of Israel from the oppression of the Midianites. And so at this particular time today, we want to see him going into the battle. And so he gathered his army, he prepared his big army ready to go and fight. And they were so excited because they knew they were going to win because they had been assured of winning. And so at this particular time, so many people came into the army and they had an army of 22,000 soldiers coming to fight. And as they came, God looked at the 22,000 and he said, No, Gideon, these, children, these, uh, these soldiers are too many. They cannot go to fight all of them. Because what if they go and fight and then they win? They will say it was our numbers that gave us the victory. And yet, we want to learn how to depend on God. So God told him that you have to reduce these numbers from the 22,000. And so he told Gideon to tell them that if you feel you are fearful, if you feel you cannot go into the battle, you can go back home. And they left and only 10,000 remained. And when the 10,000 remained, God still looked at them and said, no, these are still too many. They will go and win and then they will say it was their strength. And so God devised a plan to reduce the number. And so he told them that they need to go to the river to drink water. Those who will uh, kneel down and, and drink uh, from the, uh, using their hands will remain. And those who will stand and lap the water as a dog does, those are the ones that will go uh, to the battle. And as they went and they did that, only 300 people were able to drink water like a dog does. And so the rest of them were sent home and only 300 uh, 300 people remained to go into the battle. And as they went, they fought and they won. And after winning, they came back with victory. What are some, why do you think they were victorious. One is because God had promised them that he would be with them. He had promised them that he would give them, uh, he would give their enemies into their hands. And he had also promised them that 
with a little number of people, the few number of people, then they will be able to win. Why did they win? Because they learned to depend on God. And many times we depend on our own strength. Many times we depend on our own knowledge. Many times we go into war, we go into doing things depending on our own energy and strength. But God wants us to depend totally on him. He is the only one who is able to fight our battles. The Bible says that the battle belongs to the Lord. Ours is the victory. And so children, we have seen that Gideon was able to win using only 300 soldiers. He was able to win. And so even for us, God wants us to depend on him. God wants us to trust in him. Not to trust in our own strength. Not to trust in our own wisdom. Not to trust in the earthly things. But to learn to trust in him. Because he, is, he can be trusted and he is dependable. And so I want to encourage you that this week, learn to depend on God and him alone. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for every boy and girl. Thank you for their lives. And Lord, may you help us to learn to depend on you. Help us to learn to depend on you, Jehovah God. Just like Gideon and the soldiers depended on you and you gave them victory. And Lord, we pray even in our midst of war, in our midst of troubles and trials, Lord, we will learn to depend on you. We will focus our faith in you. We will focus our minds to you, Lord, because we know that with you, we are more than conquerors. So be with each and every boy and each and every girl. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe you have enjoyed the story and uh, I'm here to invite you to a in-person Sunday school that takes place every Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Farasi Lane. So welcome and God bless you. Amen. I hope you've had the word for today and you did write notes. So we'll go straight to the memory verse by Victor. Hi, my name is Victor and I'm going to present a memory verse that comes from the book of Psalms chapter 46 verse 1 and it says, God is my refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Thank you.